on today's video i will be answering some two or three questions that most of you have asked me like how did you get a job in qatar what kind of agent did you use which agent did you use did you pay commission how much and how much is your salary these are the questions that i get every now and then so stick around until the end of the video and then you'll get this all this information from me okay hello you guys how are you guys doing i hope you're doing amazing i am doing great i cannot complain if it is your first time to be here my name is Freshia and thank you so much for coming into this video and uh, if it is not your first time to be here you have been here supporting me showing me love i really really do appreciate that i cannot thank you enough thank you so much for the love and support that you have been showing me i really really appreciate it so today i'm back with this video which i want to tell you guys all the details that you have been asking me before i, ha I made this kind of video like i think two years ago and but we also have some new family members whom i want to let them know so uh if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing before we even continue okay and uh, at the end of the video i will share with you some some ways that you can get jobs apart from using agencies uh we'll give you all that information so let's just go direct into the video so question number one how did i get a job in qatar so me as fresh here, how did i get a job in qatar i got a job in qatar through an agency i was in kenya uh, just immediately after my college uh, i got a job in qatar through an agency and i got a cleaner's job it was a cleaner's job first get that correct i came here as a cleaner that was five years ago actually starting the sixth year this january oh it has been a minute it has not hit me that it, it has been a minute by the way so yeah i came here as a cleaner and worked as a cleaner for a whole uh 10 months close to one year and then um i got promoted that is a story for another day but yes i came here as a cleaner uh, through an agency so the agency that i used is in kenya in nairobi and that agency later became uh, someone who ca i cannot trust and so i do not share the, the her, her name uh, on my youtube because i don't want her to go and turn the tables around you okay so let's move on to the next question so how did i get the job i of course i i, I went I, I approached the agency and that's what you're supposed to do i approached the agency who a friend directed me to her and then i went and told her i want a job initially i wanted a waitress job but i went there and she told me we don't have waitress jobs we just have cleaners jobs and i was like okay i will just take the cleaners job because i was of course i was desperate and i wanted to go out i wanted to start making my own money and you all know that in africa or in kenya where i come from it's not easy to get a job like when you are a fresh graduate it's it's not easy you know it's hard so yeah that's how i got my job through an agency an agency who i was sent my friend sent me to her so uh the other one is a commission paid did i pay commission yes i paid commission commission money is the money that you pay the agency because they're searching a job for you you pay them to get you a job and i don't sometimes I, I i don't understand when people say that agencies should not ask for the money but i i completely understand them when i was there at that time i will not understand why they're asking for the money but when i came here and saw the situation i am like agencies do the whole thing like they will do for you the whole thing i will prefer if you have the money and you get a genuine agency you pay them the money they get you a job because on yourself it may be difficult for you to get a job but when you use an agency they will get an employer for you they will get the they will get the job for you they will get all the documents for you you will just have to pay them okay so for me i paid at that time i paid a hundred thousand kenya shillings i will put into dollars here how much dollars is that uh us dollars but that is how much i paid uh that was a cleanest job some people paid 130 some people paid 150 but for me i was lucky and i didn't have the money all the money was that one hundred thousand also was a problem to get so we went and talked to them nicely and bargained and all that so i paid yes i paid commission and you should not feel bad paying commission because they are doing the job the job they are doing you may not be able to do it yourself so and this 100,000 reals, it's not inclusive of the medical charges that you'll be charged. I also paid, uh, was it 5,000 Kenya shillings? I will also put it in US dollars, 5,000 Kenya shillings for medical tests. Um, uh, what else did, were you, did we used to pay for that? At, that? at that time also, we used to do yellow fever. I also paid yellow fever, 2,500 Kenya shillings. Um, I also paid for the police clearance certificate. That is a good conduct. I think 1,050, 1,050. 
150 Kenya shillings. So I'll, I'll put all the money here in US dollars so that you can convert. But anyway, yeah, that is how much we used to pay back then. Now, the people who are coming now, even for the same jobs and even, you know, cheaper salary, they are paying a lot of money. Of course, things have changed. Economy has changed. And that's why they are charging expensive. But again, I will repeat, if you have the money, please consider paying the agency. They will make all the work easy for you. But be careful of the agency. Do the research first before you do the you, you pay the agency so the, the other question is how much money how much salary did you get so when i came here i was getting um i was getting my my basic salary was 900 reals that is where i started i i still can't believe this that is where i started i started from 900 basic salary and then we used to get a uh, 300 food allowance and and that's it that's it actually that's it and then when you do the overtime they used to pay us for the overtime money but the money that was in my offer letter was 1200 reals per month that is 900 basic salary and 300 food allowance that is back then right now people are even getting more money than that because also the government changed the rule of uh, getting less than a thousand basic salary so now in qatar every employer is required to pay their employee at least 1000 going up the mini the minimum wage you can get right now is 1000 so at least even if you come here with a minimum wage of 1000 and then you get the food allowance the water allowance what all those allowances you will be very lucky for me we came with less money than that but of course that time it was that time and uh, i really thank god because we have come from far right now Oh my gosh the multiplication that god has done for me i really i really appreciate that genuinely i do appreciate and i count myself as blessed so yeah those are the questions that you people asked me and i hope uh, i have given all the details about myself and so now what i would want to do is share with you the other ways that you can come you can get the jobs here in qatar so for the agency that I used, I said I will not mention them, but I, I completely do not I completely do not work with Elmville Agency. I just know their work is good and their work is legit. I have seen them bringing people here and uh, in case they change from now going on, do not blame me. I'm just giving you the, 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 the idea or the option that you should start doing the research on them. You, you know, you can do this research on a way like you go to a Facebook page and uh, ask the people, a Facebook group and ask people, do you know this agency? and they will tell you yes we have used them yes we have not but also be careful on people's advice but anyway yeah i have seen elmville agency bringing people they are allocated in uh, they are marketing these people as if i'm working for them but uh, i uh, honestly i'm not working for them or i'm not working with them so uh, they are they are in westlands they are in Westlands, Nairobi, and uh, you should uh, go to their Facebook page and then get their contacts there. You communicate with them and they will give you all the details. Of course, I understand you have to pay for, for the registration fee and then you also have to pay for the commission fee if you get the job that you want or if you get the jobs that they have if you choose to follow that job. So, um, yeah, that is the agency that I will tell you guys to try using them. I have seen them bring people here. And then also go with the mentality of being patient. Uh, do not rush things if they tell you the jobs are still there or maybe whatever uh, sometimes you'll do interviews and then sometimes actually let me let me give you an example sometimes you'll go there they will call you for a job you do the interviews even with the client but when the client come back here they pause maybe the process they pause the the, the 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 whole thing and now for you you'll be left blaming the the agency but it's not the agency it's coming from the from the employer so you just be patient if uh, you see like it has taken so long for the feedback to come go for another interview with the same agency of course remember you have paid for the registration fee so you could go and pay i mean i mean and do other interviews um if you see it has gone like two three months without response the client is not responding i would advise you to go to another interview with the same agency and then uh, we see how it goes so uh yes that is the agency that i could tell you to use go to their facebook page get their contacts do not mention me because they don't even know me but if you choose to mention me maybe one of them knows me i don't know I, like i have marketed them the whole of 2022 i hope they already know me but me i don't know them I don't, I, we, we don't know each other so yeah and that's it i think uh, i have already given all the information that i will have wanted to share and uh, i would want you to be encouraged by this video by the way today's video let it encourage you let me tell you guys i didn't start where i am right now i have told you guys i started with very less money at that time i could not even mention how much i was earning but now i'm proudly saying how much i was earning at that time and uh, i'm really grateful we all start from somewhere don't start choosing and saying that that money is little a thousand reals 
it's so little it's not little it's not little my friend because when you come here you'll find your way out when you come here god will open up more doors and that's why i keep telling you guys do not be choosy whatever has come on your way you can take it take it when you come here find your way around this place okay to metokambali we are going far that's what i will say and i hope this video encourages you and uh, uh thank you so much in case it has helped you uh please consider giving it a like also share with your friends and family and give someone some uh, give some some someone some hopes out there okay uh yeah i think this is the end of the video for thank you so much for watching until this far if you have not liked the video please consider giving it a like also do not forget to subscribe down below and uh, until the next one bye bye